I went on a date this weekend. Here's how it went and here's the advice I want to share with you. So I met this person on a dating app and he seemed really nice and actually we ended up having a phone chat and I was really impressed. He seemed really emotionally intelligent, really secure in himself. He seemed to have a lot of hobbies and interests. These are all green flags for me. I am looking for a partner who knows who they are, is confident about who they are, takes good care of themselves, etc, etc, etc. We made plans to meet up on Sunday and go to the DIA and uh, there, there was. I will say this, um, there was a light pink flag because I, when I meet someone and I'm interested in them, I like consistent contact. I don't need to talk to you every day, but just like little text exchanges. I like like music recommendations, just like touches, like to know that you're thinking about me, to know that you care, and it's just something that I like. And I it's called insecurity. You want a man to be all up your butt to prove his worth to you and guys if you're watching this video don't do that because while women say that they like that it's actually a sign of weakness and the more that you do it the more they think they can take advantage of you i had expressed that to him and i had heard nothing was i going to be pissed no i was going to accept whatever happened and it's fine so i show up to the dia and um he shows up right on, on right on time. I'd gotten there early to do some sketching. The, the Detroit Institute of Art is one of my favorite places. I spent a lot of time there anyway. And so I was doing some sketching, hanging out, walking about. It was great. It was great and it was fine. He shows up right on time. And I have to be honest, as soon as I saw him, immediately it was like, I am not attracted to this person. Okay, so this is that, that instant attraction. This that instant vibe that you hear women talking about all the time. Oh, it's the vibe or it's the instant chemistry. It needs to happen and all that. There's no get to know someone, get to know who, know who they are inside as a person and let them grow on you. Women put a lot of emphasis on this instant chemistry, this instant vibe crap, which is just a bunch of crap, really. Uh, and frankly, even like when he was within proximity to me, I was like, I don't, he doesn't smell attractive to me. Like he's not, doesn't smell bad. I'm just not like, oh golly. Um, but I was like, don't be rude. Like maybe you're just nervous. You're, you're out of practice. Like let's, let's just go with this. That means let's just go with this so I can get a free meal or something like that. Get free attention. Even though I'm not really interested, I'm just going to take advantage of this anyway and just give him mixed signals like I am interested. That's what that means. We walk around the museum, he says some interesting things, he's polite, he's kind, um, you know, it, it, nothing, nothing remarkable, nothing super duper special. Um, he didn't try. What's so remarkable and super duper special about you? It's just crazy how these women think that their worth is so much more than men. I to hold my hand, he didn't try to do any of those things and I was like, cool, he's just being respectful. Um, he gives me three different options for dinner, which is fine. I, I share with him some personal information. Um, I shared some vulnerability and he seemed to receive it really well. We go to dinner. Dinner was really nice. Uh, it was fancy. We shared plates. It was really sweet. It was nice. It was really, really nice. But you're not interested in it. So why are you even taking advantage of the date and the foods and the sharing plates? And I'm pretty sure because he already sounds like he's kind of weak that he pay for that stuff. Um, and I was willing to entertain like one more thing. I was like, oh, let's go get dessert. Um, of course you were. Why not keep extending it out to get more benefits from somebody that you're really not interested in? This is what a lot of these women are doing today. And men, when men see that, they're like, okay, she wants to still hang. She wants to still do things. That means she's interested in me. So, fellas, man, pay attention to this. This is what women do a lot of the times, and they fool you into doing things for them under this fake guise that they're interested in you. So we went to this place, and we had dessert. I started feeling myself get tired. Um, not because he had done anything wrong. I just was feeling tired, and that happens. Oh, it's... 
I'm so tired. I have to go to work tomorrow. I have to go pick up Nino from from daycare or something like that. It's always some kind of excuse. Automatically, you're so tired or you're so busy or you have things to do. No, you're just ready to jet out of the scene so you can go home and make videos about this date that you hated, but you took full benefit from. Um, and I was ready to be done for the night after this. And he was like, well, what if I invite you back to my place? Like, we'll set some boundaries. Like, we don't have to do anything. Like, I just, I'm really enjoying to get to know you. You seem really special. It feels like this is going somewhere. And like, let's just hang out for a little bit longer. Now, my gut instinct was I should be done. I should be done. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'd like to go home. But he's so nice and he's been so polite and like, let's go to his fucking house. Now see, that's garbage. Yet another thing to lead this man on to make him think that you're interested in him. Going to his house is a big one because why would you go to his house if you're not interested in him in that way? Hmm. So uh, we go to his house and it's cute, it's nice. It's. I will be honest, I was a little excited and maybe more excited than I needed to be. In most of my dating experiences, men come to my house, they very rarely invite me to theirs. Um, and that's fine. But many times when I've gone to people's houses that I've been romantically interested in. Didn't she just say that men come to her house and she doesn't go to theirs, but then the next sentence she says, many times I've went to men's house. That doesn't make any sense. Catch the lies, fellas. Catch the lies. I'm like, holy fucking shit. Like, wow, this this is bad. Like, it's messy or it's chaotic. I've been to a couple people's houses where I'm like, this is so cool. It's too bad that you fucking suck. Anyway, I'm in his house. It's fine. It's a little cold. Um, but it's fine and we sit down and we start talking and we actually stumble into this conversation where I decide to share something really big, like really big, a, a really big traumatic experience that I had. And why are you deciding to, first of all, why are you at the guy's house if you're not interested in, and why do you decide to share this big emotional thing with this guy? See guys, you have to understand that women like this, see, our, as a man, our natural nature is to protect. We don't like to see women cry. We don't like to see women get hurt. We, you know, we wanna try to solve a problem for a woman. And a lot of these women, they use men as uh, emotional tampons. Because don't get it twisted. Any kind of attention that you give a woman that she doesn't deserve, she's not gonna res respect you for that. But these women, they will just keep going on and on and on to get any kind of benefit from you um, that they can, even if it's just talking and you sitting there listening to all this drama and all this stuff. It's all beneficial to them. It's not been beneficial to men at all. And this is just another way to manipulate men. We had had a couple kisses, and I'm going to be honest, part of the reason why I haven't oh, mentioned oh, them is because... Oh, oh, what, what? You had a couple kisses, but you're not interested in him? Games, games, games. Because I kind of forgot about them because I didn't feel anything. Like, no spark, no nothing. I just felt like, this is kissing. Okay. So anyway, we finished the kissing. And I tell him the story. And he seemed so attentive and so supportive. And, and was super generous and kind. And was like, you know, thank you so much for sharing this story. Like... I'm so sorry that you went through all of that. Thank you so much. And I was like, thank you. I cried. And he went and got tissue. He actually he got napkins. He was like, I'm gonna be honest, this is a guy's house. I don't have I don't have tissue. But I do have these napkins and they're kind of cute. Like, what do you think? Fellas, I'm gonna tell you something my mom told me a long time ago when I had my first heartbreak. She told me, son, I'm a woman, I'm your mama. And I'm gonna tell you exactly what time it is. Do not believe crocodile tears. That doesn't mean that you don't believe women when something is going on, something is wrong, and you want to help them, but you cannot just believe crocodile tears. This is one of the top things women use to manipulate men. 
When women get cornered, they start crying. When women want to manipulate you into doing something for them, they start crying. They start playing the victim. It's all manipulation, folks. A lot of these women are great actresses. They can cry on cue. And unfortunately, because we have this thing that's in our DNA that tells us we don't like that, we don't want to see that, we want to solve that, we want to protect women. And it's something that men feel for all women, even though we don't know them. It's, it's a biological thing that we don't want to see women hurt. So this is one of the main things that women use to manipulate men are tears and sob stories and stuff like that. Now, this woman is all over the place. She starts out saying she not interested in the guy he didn't have the vibe he didn't have the chemistry but she sat there took advantage of the free food took advantage of the dessert goes to the guy's house and she just you know leaves out the fact that she had been kissing him and kissing him but it didn't mean anything right if it didn't mean anything why did you keep kissing him and why are you at his house this is all manipulation folks all manipulation guys be wary of women like this and I was like, that's very sweet. And I kind of calmed down. And now I'm really tired. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave now. And he basically said like, okay, well, now that like we've calmed down a little bit, do you want to get intimate again? And I was like, oh man, like, I'm really sorry. Um, I really enjoyed my time with you. You're very sweet. I'd really like to go out again. Like, I think that would be fun to go out again. But, um... I think I, I'm done for the night. I, I think I need to be done. This is all manipulation, guys. What she has done is she has went up and down like a roller coaster. I'm going to, from her perspective, it's like I'm going to show him all these things that makes him think that I'm interested in him. I'm going to accept the date. I'm going to eat the food. I'm going to hold his hand, probably. I'm going to go to his house. I'm going to kiss him. I'm going to do all these things. And then I'm going to start crying, make him feel sorry for me. And then I'm going to say I'm tired and I'm ready to go home. Because what she's trying to do is she's trying to get this guy to do the same thing he did on this date, the next date, and the next date. And it's all about control. So she can control the narrative. She can control how far it goes. When you, as a woman... You go over to a guy's house, you start kissing him, you start doing all these things, um, making him think that you're interested. A lot of men out there are just weak and they fall for this, right? For me, the type of man that I am, the type of man that I've always been, if a woman comes to your house, she knows what time it is, right? She knows that she's a grown woman, you're a grown man. She knows what grown people do. Now, nobody is entitled to anybody's body, but the implication is there the implication that something more serious between grown two grown people that are interested in, in each other will happen see there's no reason for her to go over there there's only two reasons she's going over there because she wants it to happen or she's going over there to manipulate him to make him think it's going to happen so she can then stretch these dates out and keep playing this manipulation game guys you have to be careful because guys like me i'm gonna tell you straight up if a woman comes to my house and she does that and she flips and she starts acting weird, she's out. And not only is she out because she doesn't want to go to the next level, she's out because now I'm seeing that it's nothing but games. It's nothing but manipulation. Women know what men want. Women know what time it is when they go over to a man's house. Okay, so don't fall for that because women that do this, they have a character flaw. They like to play games, and these are the women that can get you caught up in situations that you don't want to be in. Trust me. And immediately the tone shifted. Like, immediately it was like, okay, let's get your stuff. Let's get you out of here. And I was like, okay, like, I just want to be clear. Like, this me feeling the need to leave has nothing to do with you. It has everything to do with the fact that, like, I kind of got triggered, and now I'm really tired. He's like, no, it's no big deal. And I was like, okay, like, we'll make plans. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we'll make plans. See, see how she threw out, we'll make plans. And he's like, yeah, yeah, we'll make plans. But you can see that the guy is already fed up. He's like, okay, you're playing games. You don't want to do that? Out. I'm going to just move on to the next one. He's Now he's in the mode of telling her exactly whatever it is just to get her out of his house because he knows what time it is. Now, while I was driving home, I was like, man, I, I think that he's going to ghost me. Uh which would kind of be a relief because even though I shared this vulnerability with him 
And if I'm being entirely honest, um, I shared that vulnerability. I felt closer to him. I still didn't feel super attracted to him, but like, I was like, maybe, maybe we can build something. Or at the very least, maybe we can be friends. Like, he just. And there it is. At the very least, maybe we can be friends. She wants this guy to be in the friend zone. She wants to keep throwing out bait, making him think that she's interested. All the while, he keeps doing all these type of things that equal boyfriend benefits. That's, that's really all it is. Because if she wasn't attracted to the guy and he didn't have the right vibe, why is she doing all this stuff? Ask yourself that. It's manipulation seems like a lovely person and it would be nice to be friends with him when i got home i also felt like this old shimmer of like oh, i hope he's not mad at me now that's an old shimmer that's young young Haley. no you're still young and you're still immature and you're realizing that this guy is not playing your game and now all of a sudden you want to sit there and say oh Oh, did I do something wrong? You've been playing the game the whole night. You know exactly what time it is. It ain't got nothing to do with us, the old you. No, that's you. Feeling feelings, and that's okay. Like, I'm not mad. But I just sent a little message. I was like, today was really nice. Thank you so much. Like, chat soon. Didn't hear a fucking peep. Which is fine. It's totally fine. And then yesterday morning, I got a text from him. Basically saying, like, Good morning, Haley. Yesterday was great. Thank you so much. I'm very sorry, but you are not the type of person that I'm looking for. I didn't really feel a connection. Be well, Peter. And the relief I immediately felt. Stop lying. You did not feel relief. You felt stupid because you tried to run game on a guy and he didn't fall for it. He gave you every single opportunity to show the opposite, but you didn't. And that's why he cut you off. He said, he woke up the next day and said, you know what, I'm, 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 I'm no, I'm not playing this game because I know she's all about game. She's all about manipulation. She's all about trying to use me for my resources and I'm done. And then all of a sudden you want to say, thank God, thank God he said that. As if the guy, if the guy uh, reached out to her again and said, let's go on all these days, let's go eat again, let's go do all this stuff again, that she wouldn't take him up on that. Of course she would. She's just saying that because she knows that she can't keep manipulating the guy. She knows that she can't keep taking his resources without him getting anything in return. And now she wants to try to jump up and cheer like it's a good thing. No, ma'am, you're just going to be lonely constantly playing these games with men. There was a twinge of me who wanted to be like, bitch, you think you get to reject me? Let me please obliterate you for like what this is. You were pissed that I didn't give you sex, that I didn't give you more physical attention. And uh, after you had been like decent to me, fuck off. But I didn't say that because maybe that wasn't the truth. Maybe the truth was is that he heard all that, heard those stories and then realized like after thinking about it, like maybe I'm not prepared. Maybe I'm not the type of person that could really support her. That well, you know, I don't know what the story is, but I know that women can get very in-depth with a lot of drama and a lot of stories, and there's probably red flags galore that popped out. So if you look at that whole picture, you got all of these red flags from these stories. This is from the guy's perspective, excuse me. You got all of these uh, red flags from this story, compounded with the fact that she's sat there and benefited from all the things that he did for this date, she actually went to his house. She got physical with him. All these things. And then at the end, I'm so tired. I'm going to go home. It's a lot. It's, that's a lot of drama. That's a lot of baggage. That's a lot of game. And that's what a lot of these women carry. A lot of baggage, a lot of drama, and a lot of game. And she's just trying to justify her actions by trying to point out that he's doing something wrong. He's done nothing wrong. You lucky that the guy even took you out on a date, young lady, because you didn't deserve that. That's obvious. That's okay. My big takeaway from the whole thing was that like this year of dating and this year going forward, 
I'm gonna listen to my gut 100% of the time. I'm no longer going to do anything to be polite or kind to somebody. If you are not treating me like a fucking hell yes, you can get the fuck away from me. Not even politely. So um, that's what I learned. I hope you enjoy the story. Story time. Story time. So yeah. I went on. Ridiculous. And this is why a lot of women are single. First of all, lady, um, you're not all that. You have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.